Hi everyone, so this is progesterone and oil. Let's look at the vial. Inside you'll find a very thick yellowish liquid. It kind of looks like olive oil. So one tip before we draw this up, I like to warm it up in my hands for about two minutes. This just kind of helps thin out the oil a bit and makes drawing it up a lot easier. So while I'm doing that, in front of me I have my needle. It's a 22 gauge, one and a half inch needle. And I also have another tip here. The reason why I have another tip is because once I drop the medication and inject this into the vial, it actually dulls the needle tip, which means it'll hurt when it goes in for the injection. So what I wanna do is actually swap out the tips right before I do the injection. So you have a nice fresh needle and it'll go in just nicely. So I think my oil is all ready now. And the first thing I'm going to do is drop some air. So depending on your dosage, so let's just say it's one ml, I'm going to drop one ml of air. The reason why we do this is because it's highly pressurized inside. You're going to inject the air back into the vial just so that it makes it easier to draw up. So let's do that. And let's push the air in and make sure your thumb is still on the plunger. The next thing you're going to do is flip this upside down and just be careful not to bend the needle. And what you wanna do is draw the needle tip underneath the water line, or I should say the oil line in this case. And then once you're ready, you can start drawing up the medication. And just be aware, like I said, it's highly pressurized, so it might be a little bit difficult but slowly start to pull back on the plunger and you'll notice that the liquid just kind of falls in. So let's pull this to the one ml mark and just wait for the liquid. Don't worry too much about the air bubbles. We can always get rid of those later. So I think we're good. I've even pulled past the one mark just a little bit. I'm going to just inject that back. And we are ready to do our intramuscular injection. So what you wanna do next is cap this. Be very careful. And then be careful when you take off this needle to swap the heads. A Little bit of oil might come out um, so just do it quickly. So some tips um, for the injection itself. Um, you wanna pick the upper outer quadrant of your buttocks. You wanna pinch it real hard and then just go in straight and fast and then inject the medication. Um, I usually like to do it um, pretty quick just to get it over with, but it stings a little bit. So um, whoever's doing your injection, um, you can tell them to do it um, slowly if you like. Um, the actual injection part is the okay part. It's the aftermath that kind of sucked for me. Um, it felt like the area was very bruised. So some tips would be to give yourself a massage right after you give the injection and also apply a heating pack. It kind of helps spread the medication very nicely. And um, one other tip I forgot is that you wanna ice down that area and just kind of numb it so that you don't feel the needle going in. So it's not so bad, guys. I was totally freaked out, but after I did my first one, it really wasn't that bad in the end. So you can do it too. Good luck and thanks for watching.